Okay, we're gonna recap here. In part one, um, first thing was duplicate customer concern. So basically, well, I got my scanner and I got the codes um, and I got this code P1093. Like uh, it is for, um, it's a during a field enrichment, you know, like some loss of uh, desire and actual pressure, okay, on the high pressure side. So then I went test drive the vehicle, duplicate customer concern. The customer concern is lack of power on acceleration or uphills. Um, some um, smoke coming out of the tailpipe when warm and also there is <coughs> some um, long crank okay so then I started getting duplicated the condition and I started questioning the customer about history okay the, on the history the, the customer told me he bought the truck like a little bit over a year ago and he bought the truck with that issue, with lack of power, all that kind of problem. So he said he took it to a shop and they did a, um, because he has the same condition we have right now. So he said he took it to a shop and they replaced the A fuel injectors and the high pressure pump. And apparently he said that fixed the problem like smoke and all that kind of stuff. But in about three months, he felt that the truck started failing. Oh no, he told me on the road test, after they give him the truck back, he got the lack of power. So he returned and came back to these guys at the shop. So what they did is they add a um, add-on of the fuel filters and a lift pump because this vehicle has only a uh, you know, like suction pump part of the high pressure pump so they added an extra pump and he said that one took care like most of the lack of power still has a lack of power but as it is right now it has way more lack of power so at this point right now I was checking other you know like new components so he said he installed himself he got a genuine uh, AC Delco fuel filter housing in, in the filter. He installed those, but this new unit is updated unit and the hoses, the connection are not directly the same as the new. So the first thing I found is I, I saw those lines were collapsing and he used a heater hoses. So I did my fuel lines and they were leaking too. Okay. So now I got, I replaced those and I went for, um, check on the fuel filter, air filter was new, and go for a road test. Okay, on my road test, I find out that, let me see what I, uh, on my road test, what I find out was um, this vehicle had um, a very severe lack of power still. So, and I got my, 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 I connected that point, my cache on the um, suction side. And I got about two, 26 inches of uh, mercury. So this is way crazy. So it's a lot of restriction on the, the suction side. Still, you know, I, I fixed that one and I still have this. And also my code is there, P1093. And desire and actual pressure when the computer was asking for 160 megapascal it was getting 60 or something like that and i feel a lack of power so i didn't fix the problem yet <clears throat> so and i can see on my gauge okay so we fix it and now i keep looking and uh, i got my second restriction i found was someone replaced the transmission and the bracket they didn't reattach it and there is another restriction. So I fixed that restriction and still, you know, the, because I found those holes collapsing there and uh, I fixed that restriction. 
still the same problem. Also, I eliminated the add-on filters to the lift pump to find out if those ones were causing some restriction. Still the same issue. Now I went into removing the fuel tank and check out the pickup screen and they were clean. The fuel was clean. No contamination and no debris. And here we are. So I'm going to share with you what I found. These are the instructions. You know, They are telling you you shouldn't have a wide open throttle no more than 12. We end up having still on the pressure side like a wide open throttle 6 psi. So this is what I had here. As you can see, the computer was requesting desire 159 megapascal while I was accelerating that one was going down and down to 16 current. So let's continue and we're gonna find out we found the problem. I'm gonna share that with you now. Okay, we're gonna recap here. In part one, um, first thing was duplicate customer concern. So basically, well, I got my scanner and I got the codes um, and I got this code P1093. Like uh, it is for, um, it's a during a fuel enrichment, you know, like some loss of uh, desire and actual pressure, okay, on the high pressure side. So then I went test drive the vehicle, duplicate customer concern. The customer concern is lack of power on acceleration or uphills. Um, some um, smoke coming out of the tailpipe when warm and also there is <clears throat> some um, long crank okay so then I started getting duplicated the condition and I started questioning the customer about history okay the, on the history the, the customer told me he bought the truck like a little bit over a year ago and he bought the truck with that issue, with lack of power, all that kind of problem. So he said he took it to a shop and they did a, um, because he has the same condition we have right now. So he said he took it to a shop and they replaced the A fuel injectors and the high pressure pump 
and apparently he said that fixed the problem like smoke and all that kind of stuff but in about three months he felt that the truck started failing oh no he told me on the road test after they give him the truck back he got the lack of power so he returned and came back to these guys at the shop so what they did is they add a um add-on of the fuel filters and a lift pump because this vehicle has only a uh, you know like suction pump part of the high pressure pump so they added an extra pump and he said that one took care like most of the lack of power still has a lack of power but as it is right now it has way more lack of power so at this point right now i was checking other you know like new components so he said he installed himself he got a genuine uh, AC Delco fuel filter housing in in the filter he installed those but this new unit is updated unit and the hoses the connection are not directly the same as the new so the first thing I found is I, I saw those lines were collapsing and he used a heater hoses so I did my fuel lines and they were leaking too okay so now I got I replaced those and I went for um check on the fuel filter air filter was new and go for a road test okay on my road test I find out that Let me see what I uh, on my road test. What I find out was um, this vehicle had um, a very severe lack of power still. So, and I got my 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 I connected that point my cache on the um, suction side, and I got about two twenty six inches of uh, mercury. So this is way crazy so it's a lot of restriction on the, the suction side still you know I, I fixed that one and i still have this and also my code is there p1093 and desire and actual pressure when the computer was asking for 160 megapascal it was getting 60 or something like that and i feel a lack of power so i didn't fix the problem yet <clears throat> so and i can see on my gauge okay so we fix it and now I keep looking and uh, I got my second restriction I found was someone replaced the transmission and the bracket they didn't reattach it and there is another restriction so I fixed that restriction and still you know the, because I found those holes collapse in there and uh, I fixed that restriction still same problem also I eliminated the add-on filters to the lift pump to find out if those ones were causing some restriction still the same issue now I went into removing the fuel tank and check out the pickup screen and they were clean the fuel was clean no contamination and no debris and here we are so gonna share with you what I found these are the instructions you know they are telling you you shouldn't have a wide open throttle no more than 12 we end up having still on the pressure side like a wide open throttle 6 psi so this is what I had here as you can see the computer was requesting desire 159 megapascal while I was accelerating that one was going down and down to 16 current so let's continue and we're gonna find out we found the problem I'm gonna share that with you now
Well, I opened the screen. Uh, and this is the suction side, the thick hose. And uh, inside here, you gotta open this thing here. After you open those, you open the, these two tabs here. And then inside, there is just a plastic screen. And it wasn't that bad. I barely got something, so that is, I didn't feel happy about it. However, I divided my system now here. So, as you can see, my gas tank is here. My diesel was pretty much clean, so I got my diesel here, the one that was coming, so nothing really to call attention, so I was like, oh no, okay, so I got my compressor, blow here, blow here, make sure my vent valve right here wasn't plugged, so that one is my vent valve, which goes to this part here on the, behind the shield, because that one can create issues with the suction side, but if that is the case, if you open the, the fuel cap so that one will breathe that way however right here i got my two add-on filters so i disconnected here right here so i'm cleaning all the lines okay so everything's on filled uh, flow free and i disconnected here right here that <coughs> you can see that one here is the input to the that's this is the feeding from the gas tank to the filter so this this hose so then i start blowing from here this pass through the thick arm right here and comes to these two hoses here okay so then i got a rag there because i wanted to catch something so i blow air from here and i had a lot of restriction so it was backing, backing out, backing up, the pressure was coming. So I got like a lot of pressure. And I'm trying, trying, and I don't, I don't get any dirt out. So I, now I got my compressor, my compressor here on this end, and I blow it. And I got no air, barely coming out of here. So I keep blowing and blowing, and I got my finger here, like this, and then I one of those, came out something came out it was on the thick end. and as it is right now you can see that one there gonna blow air here here with no restriction so basically it was plugged at the thick end. that's why when I substituted it before my fuel so basically I disconnected this on the filter inlet side and then after I did I, I disconnected this, I plugged my own fuel source there, and then my problem went away. So, right now, that was my problem. Something in the FICAM was plugged. So now I got it free. I, I'm, I'm blowing air from here to here, everywhere. Return, everything I'm blowing. So I'm trying to get everything clean, but unfortunately, my problem wasn't on the tank. Since it's gotta be clean anyway. Here is the fuel pressure. Um, it's not under load, but um, I will do a wide open throttle on the highway and I'm gonna see what happens. See the smoke of the tailpipe is coming out of it, okay? Okay. Well, I have here the injector's uh, balance rate, a millisecond, not really, you know, like uh, something essential for this. Uh, desire fuel rail pressure in actual. So like here, they match we can see they match like this but I'm not under load and balance rates um, they do not compensate uh, of idle so only a idle so but what I can see here after you accelerate you see the number one um, number eight injector number eight the computer is trying to take fuel away uh, I was reading in about two 
plus or minus is normal so seems like we're having some issues here so I'll go for a road test and uh, check when the vehicle has a lack of power and find out if it is part of the suction side or is on the high pressure side like feeding the, the, the low side Well, I opened the screen, uh, and this is the suction side, the thick hose. And uh, inside here, you gotta open this thing here. After you open those, you open the, these two tabs here. And then inside, there is just a plastic screen, and it wasn't that bad. I barely got something, so that is, I didn't feel happy about it. However, I divided my system now here, so. As you can see, my gas tank is here. My diesel was pretty much clean. So I got my diesel here, the one that was coming. So nothing really to call attention. So I was like, oh no. Okay, so I got my compressor, blow here, blow here. Make sure my vent valve right here wasn't plugged. So that one is my vent valve, which goes to this part here on the big behind the shield because that one can create issues with the suction side. But if that is the case, if you open the, the fuel cap, so that one will breathe that way. However, right here, I got my two add-on filters. So I disconnected here, right here. So I'm cleaning all the lines, okay? So everything's on field uh, flow free. And I disconnected here, right here, that. You can see that one here is the input to the that's this is the feeding from the gas tank to the filter so this this hose so then I start blowing from here this pass through the thick end right here and comes to these two hoses here okay so then I got a rag there because I wanted to catch something so I blow air from here and I had a lot of restriction so it was backing, backing out, backing up, the pressure was coming. So I got like a lot of pressure. And I'm trying, trying, and I don't, I don't get any dirt out. So I, now I got my compressor, my compressor here on this end, and I blow it. And I got no air, barely coming out of here. So I keep blowing and blowing, and I got my finger here, like this, and then I one of those, came out something came out it was on the thick end and as it is right now you can see that one there gonna blow air here here with no restriction so basically it was plugged at the thick end that's why when I substituted it before my fuel so basically I disconnected this on the filter inlet side and then after I did I, I disconnected this, I plugged my own fuel source there, and then my problem went away. So, right now, that was my problem. Something in the FICAM was plugged. So now I got it free. I, I'm, I'm blowing air from here to here, everywhere. Return, everything I'm blowing. So I'm trying to get everything clean, but unfortunately, my problem wasn't on the tank. This is gonna be clean anyway.
This is the fuel pressure. Um, it's not under load, but um, I will do a wide open throttle on the highway and I'm gonna see what happens. See the smoke of the tailpipe is coming out of it, okay? Okay. Well, I have here the injector's uh, balance rate. A millisecond, not really, you know, like uh, something essential for this. Uh, desire fuel rail pressure in actual. So like here, they match we can see they match like this but I'm not under load and balance rates um, they do not compensate uh, of idle so only a idle so but what I can see here after you accelerate you see the number one I'm um, number eight injector number eight the computer is trying to take fuel away uh, I was reading in about two plus or minus is normal so seems like we're having some issues here. So I'll go for a road test and uh, check when the vehicle has a lack of power and find out if it is part of the suction side or is on the high pressure side, like feeding the, the, the low side.